Hey folks, Jen or Murgriffin here, and taking a look at the Vapomatic Liquinator BFT from uh, VaporEssence.com. This is a very large tank that holds um, eight and a half millijuice. This is a triple V with a, a DCT map tank on it. Here's a silver bullet with a tank on it. Dual coil cardos all. Um, but you can see the size differential on the one on the left. And that is sitting on top of my black helix. It is just a little, not quite as wide, pretty close. Sits on there perfectly. Dual coil cardamizer on the inside. Um, aluminum end caps. Came with a different drip tip, but um, I have my little stainless steel bullet on there. And it's got tons of juice in it on a battery that lasts forever. This may be a vape made in heaven. Um, let's take a look at uh, the Vapomatic Liquidator. Well, folks, here's a close-up look at the BFT from VaporEssence.com. Big freaking tank, big fat tank, big whatever you'd like to call it tank. It holds 8.5 milliliters of juice and uses the long style mega or dual coil cardamizer. Comes with the two end caps, the tube, a cardamizer, and a mouthpiece. Um, as you can see, next to my stainless steel, you know, dual coil map tank, it's significantly bigger and has room for a much bigger volume of juice. Eight and a half millimeters, eight and a half milliliters of true serum makes Murgriffin a happy camper. So let's take the cardo and the cap off. And let's take this end cap off and you just kind of turn it and it comes out. They are the thinnest end caps of any tank that I've seen. In other words, they're not very thick. You know, there's not a lot of room between the, the bottom of the cap and the top. And the tank itself is quite thick. That tube is quite thick, so pretty sturdy. And now we are completely disassembled and I'm dropping things again as usual. Um, this one came with a slot and only one. Um, really one hole, two holes, whatever you prefer, they're all pretty much going to work the same. However, it's easiest for you to, you know, pre-purchase your <clears throat> punch cardos or do them yourself. So let's go ahead and put it back together. Let's take our tube, put the mouthpiece on the cardo, take one of the caps. Well, first thing, let's lube up the tube. That's what she said. Pretty thick. Just gonna put a drop in and roll it around. This is the same juice I'm gonna fill it with, so. No cross contamination there. You can also do this with just plain PG or VG, but just get it lubed up a little bit, and then those top caps go. And then end caps go on really nicely. So let's get one cap on. Now I find that sometimes if it doesn't want to stay down quite flat, you can kind of turn it into place. It kind of gets that O-ring settled, and then stops trying to pop back up again, which is what I have to do with this one. And roll it a little bit. Now I find that for some of these tanks, the cardo goes in easier if you have a drip tip on it. Just to get it past the o-rings that are inside there um, without pulling it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave a little space. Try to push the cardo to the side so there's a little gap between the cardo and the edge of the top cap. Kind of at an angle there. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill it tank up. Um, I got tired of dripping little drops so I drilled out the uh, control top of my bottle of juice there so it'll come out faster. Pop your top cap, pop the cardo back up through the top cap and run it down. It is a nice fit on my black helix. One filled eight and a half mil tank. It's pretty nice. I have not had any leakage problems with it whatsoever. It's uh, been great. It went together easily. It takes dual coil cardos. Um, it came with one with only one punch in it. Um, I put one that I was already using that had my favorite juice flavor in it. Uh, truth serum at the moment. Um, and I put a two punched one in there and my punches are kind of high. So I have no control in being able to move the tank up to block that off at all. And it's not been leaking at all. <coughs> so it's been perfect for me and the ability to take that much of my favorite juice along on a, you know, an 18650 or a 26650 mod. Um, it just works really well. Performs nice like a dual quad card should. Um, they're about $45.
um, a little extra if you get extra cartridges and a tank tint or you can choose your o-ring color you can get them in aluminum, black Delrin, white Delrin um, you can get orange o-rings, red o-rings and you can choose your color mouthpiece um, and that's about the same price that I paid for the stainless steel map tanks which hold less so pricing's in the right range um, went together easily doesn't have the slippage problems that I had in my first liquid in your tank um, so just a, a nice tank if you're in the market for one especially for a different size one that's gonna hold a little more juice um, I say give them a try